Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 13th of February 2021 and it's snowing in the beautiful looks out of the window it's sticking to the roofs beautiful frozen lower Rumley Valley this is me babbling on about things that happened this week trying to avoid politics quite often failing Anyway, the word or phrase for this week is the big freeze. I think in Braemar, Scotland, it got down to minus 23 or somewhere about that. And the Thames froze and the sea froze. And quite luckily here, apart from Monday, where there was a lot of snow during the day, but none of it stuck, it's just been absolutely frozen um, but there has been very low humidity so there wasn't uh, much in the way of frosts and I think only twice did I need to put some de-icing fluid on the screen to get into work and of course now I do inside and outside I still can't believe how long it's taken me to work that out but there you go anyway am um, more crypto this was all free stuff take the quiz get two dollars and another two dollars and even if you got the quiz wrong it would say oh have another go um long story short and this is where i need to be careful started out with 10 pounds worth mm, something's just popped up on the screen go away uh started off with 10 pounds worth tesco credit card 40p for cash and then 4p for interest on that cash might use my nationwide card next time anyway 10 pounds worth plus the quizzes and such like i'm now up to about 50 quids worth i'm sitting on it i'm playing the long game i'm holding um and I need to get hold of some Dogecoin. Coinbase don't do it. Well, they don't do it yet. So I've been investigating other ways to get it. Um, oh, forgot to mention. Wylam Brewery. Um, had this in the uh, Otley. Used to drink it with Big Tone. It is murky. It's a fruit bomb. It's slightly peppery weighs in at uh, well they call it a supercharged ipa it weighs in at 6.3 percent the alcohol is well hidden it's well worth getting actually anything from the wyland brewery is they are awesome all right so where was i yeah so i'm just keeping an eye on things um there was elon and his Bitcoin buying thing and Bitcoin shot up. Um, my Litecoin um, sort of tracked it um, and did really well. And some of the free stuff has done really well as well. Um, Cello, in the week, they, I think it was a round B financing thing that shot up. Uh, well, it turns out I haven't got the cello dollars. I've just got the cello base thing, which does go up. So I might think of getting some of that. However, um, let's not run before we can walk. 50 quid from 10 quid isn't bad. Um, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, so this mini beast from the east. Uh, windy dry very dry uh humidity's right down i got well i got one of these in work uh, does humidity as well um and i think this says about yeah 68 percent in work it's gone off the bottom of the scale there is no humidity um which is great because there's no frost and that makes getting into work a lot easier if still somewhat cold and as I said, Monday, Monday snowed a lot, unlike the snow that we're having at the moment. And today is the last day. 
Overnight, it's going to warm up counterintuitively. I think it's going to be three to four degrees Celsius overnight, whereas the coldest it got last night was minus four. Yeah, not keen on that anyway. Um, oh, um, this is turning into the weather update. Uh, Thursday, the BBC. There will be snow from 8 o'clock till midnight, only like Fridays and stuff. And from midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning, lots of snow. Oh, and then there'll be lots of snow at 5 o'clock. In reality, nothing. Nothing at all. So I'm going to check and keep on with, I don't know, it hasn't been that accurate, the precipitation radar on Dark Sky. Darksky.net, now owned by Apple. And of course, the really cold weather for the first time this year and last year or the whole of the winter, my lips have dried up and started to crack. And I'm always cautious about putting lip salve on there because they tend to put stuff in there that makes them crack more, so you put more on and whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Drakeford was on yesterday um, looking into the future about how he might relax things. And Wales Online today, how there might be a relaxation of things from next week onwards. Yeah, they're there to sell clicks. And, of course, I clicked on it. The big thing for me is mm, pubs. 1% infection rate, lower than hospitals, yet, oh, you've got to have a full meal, or you can only drink outside, or, spent a lot of time in pubs when they opened up, filled in all those things, track and trace and whatever, I didn't get any, I don't know anyone who did get any, and 1%, yeah. I'm fed up with drinking at home. I don't like drinking. I don't actually drink a lot at home, despite the fact. Oh, it's sticking quite a lot now. That's the uh, snow, not the beer. <sighs> Pubs are good for people. And to be honest, sitting alone, which I normally do with perspex around me so I can't see people, that's not a big deal. Drinking fine ales. And talking of drinking fine ales, it's Tiny Rebels, I think it's their ninth birthday on Monday. So there will be lots of new cans and stuff coming out. A bit skint this month. <laughs> you won't be surprised to hear. It's halfway through the month. So, um, yes, I am a bit skint. Um, so I might have to wait until next month. And uh, Mr. Drakeford said, hope to get things going a little bit with hospitality by Easter, which is the beginning of April, like caravans and self-catering. He's a teetotaler, you know. So, um, there you go. That was the week. The week ahead, extremely mild. They are saying, oh, and it's the BBC, so you can't really trust their weather forecast. 12 degrees Celsius on Monday. I'll be honest with you, I won't miss the cold. And I hope, I hope to top up those onion plants that didn't quite make it through the winter and maybe put some fertilizer out. And tomorrow I've got a miniature hero's tub filled with compost and I'm going to dump it all down and I'm going to start to grow some spring onions because I'm coming out of winter. Anyway, um, that's me burbling on far too much. Thank you very much. The usual comments, you know where to go. Um, I'll speak to you all again next week when it'll probably be hammering down with rain. Oh. Can a pont can a pail from well drawn. They've got tons of beers in now. <sighs> it was good. It was slightly peppery as well. Peppery could have been the word of the phrase of the week. Bye bye.